Hi you guys, it's me Beauty Ink. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. If you're turning, you know you guys are awesome. Just wanted to quickly say before I talk about the rest of the video, we've hit over 300, well I think we might be over it now, but as far as today as I'm filming, we've hit 300 subscribers. So thank you everyone for subscribing. Soon, I wanna do another giveaway once I hit 500, so keep that in mind. But anyway, so this video is just a quick kind of get ready with me. Um, we're preparing to go to memorial service. So, you know, it's kind of based on that, you know, memorial or funeral-esque appropriate. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in how I got this look, then so I'm just gonna go into the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat Pajamas palette. And I'm gonna start by laying okie dokie down all over my lid. This look is gonna be super simple and you know appropriate for things like this then i'm gonna go into the shade bomb diggity which is the lightest neutral shade that they have in the palette and i'm just gonna go in my crease so i'm gonna go here upwards towards my brow bone but i'm not going towards my brow if that makes any sense so now i'm gonna go into the second darkest which is cray cray it's more of a warm shade brown, light brown. Using the same brush, it's just a large fluffy brush. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm not bringing it up towards my brow bone. I'm just keeping it within the crease. And because I have hooded eyes, I have to make sure it's slightly above my crease, so I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Doing my eyes can be a pain in the butt because of it. I do not look forward to this thing, you guys. Like, ugh. Having to say goodbye and see other people be emotional. You know, a wake is not easy. A funeral is not easy. A memorial, whatever it is that you're doing for whoever. It is not easy. I went to my grandfather's when he passed and it was so hard for me not to cry. Like I was like thinking of other things in my head at the same time to try not to start bawling, be that one person who's hysterically crying because that would have been me. That definitely would have been me. I was trying so hard. And then towards the end, when they were going to um, take him away, that's when I was just like, okay, I'm done. Get me to the car because I'm going to be hysterically crying. It was so bad. So I'm hoping that when I go to this, I don't get any flashbacks or I'm not too into everybody else's emotions, like his mom or my mom. If I see my mom crying, like I'm going to start crying. I don't even know where my mom's going. Okay, so now that those two colors are down, <laughs> I'm going to tap into the shade Kooky to give my crease a little bit more color. I don't want it to be too neutral. Um, so I'm just going to get into that. And that is the matte burgundy shade in the palette. And I'm going to use that on the outside corner of my eye and like halfway in my crease that makes any sense I don't want this look to be too detailed so I'm using one brush I'm not now my fluffy brush thing. I'm gonna go back into that shade um, no, 13.2 volt well all right so while he's doing that I'm gonna take a mixture of bomb diggity and cray cray and I'm gonna put that in the center of my eye and the inner like this part of my eye then i'm going to take okie dokie which is that white shade i'm just going to put it on this portion of my eye i'm keeping this eye look matte i don't want any glitter or shimmer I don't, you know this is just gonna be a matte look okay so i have got rid of that <laughs> primed and moisturized so now I'm gonna put on my foundation. <sighs> and 
being that I'm going to be out for a while, I'm going to I'm going to do my oily skin routine. So I'm going to set my primer on this half of the my foundation I'm going to use today because I know this foundation will be like transfer resistant to an extent um, is the Stay Naked from Urban Decay in the shade 50WY. So yeah, I'm going to use that and I'm going to speed through this process a little bit. And then to set, I'm going to use the Miracle Setting Powder. Just in case if it rains, if anyone's crying, you know, waterproof. I'm, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that this lasts me. So, yeah, let's get into this, basically. Ooh, okay, four pumps should do me what I need. Oh, I need as full coverage as I can get today. We're trying to hide all of our sins. a light concealer or medium light concealer from Tarte Shape Tape to get underneath my eyes. And then taking the concealer in Makeup Revolution, the shade C10, just to add added coverage to my chin and a little bit on my nose because I don't know, I just feel like I need it. I just need that added cover. So I'm going to go in with the darker shade first. Um, actually, no, I'm going to blend all this out. Then I'm going to use the big side to blend out the chin area. And then on my nose, help give me some added coverage. I feel like I need to take more of the Tarte Shape Tape underneath my eyes a little bit like here so that's what i'm going to do okay so those are the areas that i'm going to bake and then i'm covered in powder oh my god i'm going to take a big fluffy brush and possibly the powder puff thing that it came with and i'm going to use that to set my i'm just going to use this concealer brush that i have from real techniques and i'm going to go in with bomb diggity and okie dokie mixed together a little bit and I'm just gonna go here because ooh, I use too much of okie dokie and wipe away the powder mm, 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 mm. it's like leaving major or major white cast so I'm going to go over top that with a, yeah, it's not really powder. leaving. So I'm going to go in I'm, with a beauty blender to do so. And I'm going to have to bring back some color because, whew, man. So I got my lashes on. I took off the powder. I still set a little bit of white. Um, I'm never using that powder again to bake because Lord have mercy. Um, I'm hoping my lashes don't come off. But in the meantime, I didn't even put on mascara. So I should probably do that. So I'm going to go ahead, bronze, blush, contour, highlight, and all that, and I will be right back for the I'm going to come back really quick to do the rest of my eyes. So I'm going to take this flat looking dense brush from Moda, and I'm going to take the Kooky shade, which is that burgundy shade from the Cat's Pajama Palette, and I'm just going to go on my bottom And then lashes. because these lashes are so heavy, I'm going to go in with a white or a nude eyeliner i should say i have a nude one so i'm just gonna use that one and i'm gonna take that in my waterline yeah i'm glad i used this shade pretty it goes monochromatic okay so i'm gonna attempt again to wipe this off but i'm kind of Okay. That's a little better. All right. So now I'm going to set my face. And the first one I'm going to use is this mattifying. I'm trying to keep my face as matte as possible. Okay. That spray helped with the white. So thank God for that. 
Where's my cat? Okay, so I'm going to do my hair and then I'll be back with Okay, the so finished. this is the finished look. I just threw on a cheap wig from Model or Model Model. Um, I got it from Sam's Beauty and I've had it for like a really long time. It was like $9.99. I don't even think they make this wig anymore. Um, but I have like my own hair coming out because it is not lace front. Um, so yeah, that's that. And yeah, we're about ready to head out to go to the memorial and yeah so i will let you guys know how well this holds up like if there's any rain or anything um i'll try and record on the way back do like a little check-in um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is the look i came up with for this uh occasion so i think it's fairly appropriate i mean the lashes are the most drama out of anything um and you know i want to keep it i don't want it to be too crazy but yeah so if you guys enjoyed this uh, hold on wait huh no is that oh, what's wrong with that okay if you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you've ever had to dress up for this type of occasion also don't forget to sting that subscribe button come join my little beehive here with me help me pollinate my videos youtube facebook instagram twitter and wherever else you guys can think of pollinating also don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you guys are notified of any future content and i will catch you guys in my next video